Hey, what's up guys? Today we are doing this multicolor splatter name design. So let's get right to it. First, I'm starting off with a uh, same uh, splatter stencil that I used in the last video. Uh, I'm using EPAC paint. This is, uh, I believe, yeah, this is the key blue. So I'm just uh, spraying it on fairly heavy, but not too too heavy because I don't want to get over spray on the edge of that stencil. Just going to do a couple corners there. I'm going to come back and uh, add some fluorescent yellow. Now you guys can use any colors you want. This is just uh, what I chose for this video. Uh, but you overlap the uh, yellow over the blue and it makes a nice green uh, in those spots where they overlap. So that's kind of cool. Same thing's going to happen here uh, when I switch to pink. This is fluorescent pink. Uh, Anywhere that the pink overlaps, the, the yellow is going to make a nice orange. And also where it overlaps the blue, it's going to make a purple-ish color. So it, it looks really neat. It looks like it all blends really nice. Alright, I still have pink. Yeah, I still have pink. I'm going to add some drips to this splatter. It's, it's supposed to just look like a bunch of paint splatted on the shirt. And uh, it's, the, the paint was really thick, so it's kind of running down. Got kind of a cool messy effect. Do the same thing with the blue here. I'm running this at uh, actual speed, so I didn't speed this up for you guys. You, you can see exactly uh, exactly how I'm doing everything. Switching over to black. Uh, still using uh, Etac. This is uh, opaque black. First pass, I'm just doing a, a pretty skinny uh, line. Then I'm going to go back and thicken all the downstrokes. It's a, uh, an old sign painter's trick. Gives it a real nice effect if you uh, thicken the downstrokes. So I'm making a second skinny line, and then I'm going back and filling in uh, the in between. And do that on each letter. Just like that. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, checking out this video, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.